Well, hey there guys, what's going on? Look at what I bring you guys this evening. I've got a 1992 Chevy Suburban. The Suburban is the K1500, it's a four wheel drive. You've got the 350 TBI. TBI stands for throttle body injection. Uh, so basically, what am I doing on this? Well, I went ahead and just rebuilt the transmission. We rebuilt it right here in the shop. So I went ahead and just test drove this. And uh, one, it seems to shift okay, but one of the problems that we have is, one, it doesn't have lockup. So there's a solenoid inside the transmission that obviously is bad. So if you look at this beast, beastly of an engine, a 350 TBI, this truck I've done a lot of work on. Went ahead and rebuilt the throttle body, put a new distributor in it. This hasn't ran right in the last few years. And basically really what it came down to is it had a bad PCM in it. So right here, what I've got is the TV cable, okay? 700R4s use a TV cable. Okay, so looking at the cable here, this is what they refer to as a TV cable, the throttle valve cable. And this basically is what shifts your transmission. Right here, if you look at that little, you can see right here it's broken. This is the part that actually snaps onto the throttle body linkage right there. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. I've got the new one over here. So looking at the new cable, you can see the big difference in the plastic connector here. You can see that one, that old one was pretty much broken right where it snaps into the linkage on the throttle body. So that could have definitely caused an issue down the road. It's a good thing that we caught that now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you underneath the truck what I'm doing. Okay, so we're underneath the truck here. I went ahead and just installed this transmission earlier this afternoon. I'm Like I said, I'm just buttoning this up for the customer. Um, basically, I'm going to have to eat that cost on the solenoid there, but it is what it is, and that is... It was like 35 bucks, and I'm not going to really, you know, lose sleep over it. So, basically, what was going on with this transmission initially, one is it wouldn't shift out of first gear, okay? And uh, the second gear band was actually broke where it bolts to the servo. So, that would explain why it wouldn't shift out of uh, first gear. Another thing that I found too is when I took this apart, the accumulator spring was broken too on that. Um, I don't know what caused that or if that was something that led to the failure of the band and it breaking. Another common problem with these are the third to fourth gear clutches. Uh, the clutches were burn up pretty good on this. I mean, when I say burn up, they were pretty much in, in the state of failing where this transmission probably would have failed here in the next probably few months so what I did here is I went ahead and replaced all the clutches seals and everything out in, in the transmission here so you went ahead and put a shift kit in it a transgo shift kit and so put it back together but that's my mistake right here this is what I'm in here right now doing this uh, this is lockup solenoid very easy to replace. Just two 10 millimeter bolts. Drop the solenoid out and just go ahead and put your new solenoid in. And pretty much plug and play. Put your filter back on. Put your pan back on. You guys are good to go. So, but yeah. So that's where we're at on this one here. The 1992 Chevy Suburban. 1992 was the last year of the 700 R4. 93 is when GM went to the 4L60E. So if you've got a 93 truck that you're trying to swap the transmission on, it'd be 93, 94, 95 is standalone year only. 96 and up, you can swap any transmission from 96 and up. I believe it's the 07 or 08 4L60E. They're all plug and play. So this transmission here, 87 to 92, will fit. So, but overall, a pretty straightforward job. Not really a job that I really like doing, but hey, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, it's it's decent money for what it is. So, I'm 
if somebody sees this video, I'm not going to do a transmission out in the field. This Basically, this was a special circumstance deal only. So, but that's where I'm going to conclude this video, guys. If you like these type of videos, please smash that like button. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I really appreciate all the new subscribers lately. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next